Hi guys, D Forte here. I'm going to continue on some MS DOS tutorials through VMware. And today, what I'm going to do is show you how to copy files from a Windows, a real Windows computer, into this virtual DOS machine. So, what I've done here is installed a program called ISO Recorder. It's a free program and it's fantastic. What it does is add a menu option to your Windows File Explorer context menu. As you can see when I right click on a folder you'll see create ISO image file and it will only do one folder at a time but you can put multiple files and folders inside a single folder. So if I wanted to do say all three of these Bard's Tale games you can't just right click and say create this way what you do is create a new folder. In fact, let's just do it. New folder. We're going to say all BT. And we're going to copy all three folders and dump them into there. Now that that's done, we can right click and say create ISO image file. So here's ISO recorders menu. You'll see it's got the directory as the source, the target is where the ISO file will be created. And incidentally, in case you don't know what ISO is, ISO is technically a file system. It's used with CDs, DVDs, etc. But in reality, these UDF is a special type of file system and they've generically called these types of files ISOs which is really not technically correct because originally ISO was the file system type but anyway um, if you ever see an ISO file it should be a raw dump of an ISO file system but it may be a UDF file system as well from like DVDs, Blu-ray discs and CDs. Sometimes people will incorrectly call any kind of raw clone an ISO but that's just how it is. People use incorrect terms all the time. So now that we've chosen the target where the file will be created, we're just going to give it a label, a name. We're just going to say Bard's Tale. And we'll hit Next. It is already finished. So we're done with that part of the process. So now we come over to our virtual machine. And here is where we've installed Microsoft DOS in a previous video. We go into Edit Virtual Machine Settings and we're going to go to the CD drive because remember DOS does have the ability to view CDs but not necessarily flash drives like USB. DOS does not have any kind of USB capabilities and while there could be some drivers that could allow it this is a much easier way to copy files into a DOS virtual machine. So you'll notice that it's already picked the Bard's Tale 3 ISO which was a previous one I had done. That's not the one we want. We are going to choose this one all bt.iso and it's going to have all the Bard's Tale folders inside it. So we just say OK. We're going to play our virtual machine and I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to go to the boot menu to speed up the process. Boot from the hard drive and now you'll notice that our MSCDEX is pointing to the R drive, that's our CD drive. And when I do a directory listing, you see all three folders. So let's go in. So here's all the files for Bard's Tale 1. So as you can see, I can now just simply copy all of these folders to the internal hard drive in the virtual machine. So here's my C drive, which is where I have DOS installed. Let's make a directory called Bard All. And then we'll change to that directory. And now we can just do an X copy of everything on the R drive. And it's going to create all the folders that I had there. So there we go. We've very easily just copied three folders inside a DOS virtual machine 
and we can now play these Bard's Tale games. And you can do this with anything. You know, anything on your Windows hard drive, just simply create an ISO using the ISO recorder and start playing and having fun inside DOS Virtual Machine. In a future video, I'll show you how then you can clone this drive in the Virtual Machine to a real PC. So if you have an old-fashioned PC that you really want to play on and you don't want to do it inside Virtual Machine, that's fine. You can use the Virtual Machine as just a staging area to make it a lot easier to create the exact folder structure you want for your DOS system. So I hope you enjoyed this and once again if you do like these types of videos like or make comments and I will do more of them. Thanks for watching.